Victor John with Voices Live On. This is a division of Nashville, Indiana Stories and Southern Indiana. And we have a legend on the phone in radio in Central Indiana, which is now the program director uh, down in Bloomington, Rick Evans, how are you doing today? Great, John. Uh, I'm doing fine. Thank you for uh, for, for 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 talking today. I, I appreciate it very much. This is going to be for what we're growing is uh, NashvilleIndianaStories.com and also Southern Indiana. And the purpose is to have people's life stories and save them, but also do business histories. And for instance, the the Greenwood Suites. You know, we've done those guys, and and also the the Steakhouse there in Nashville. But but the purpose is that they get cards to be able to share their story to the public and also saving local legends. What do you think about what we're trying to accomplish as far as doing the business histories, either face to face or kind of like a, a remote call like this and incorporating, you know, not just the people that work there, but also people that they affect and, and then maybe even sponsoring saving a local legends life story. So that could be shared and coupled with the business. What do you think about that concept? Yeah, I think it's a great concept because a lot of things are just not going to be around forever. We always think that they're going to be around forever. And, you know, when I first met you and you were telling me about this concept, all I could think was, man, with, with I, I lost my dad uh, a few years ago. I lost my father-in-law just a couple of years ago. And both of them, I, I meant to sit down because I'm I'm an audio guy. I'm a recording guy, and there's so many stories. And I I, I think you know I I'm one of these days here. I'm going to sit down with them, and I'm going to sit down with a recorder. I'm going to interview them, and I'm going to get all those stories that they tell because we all have stories. I mean, that's what our life is, and an accumulation of experiences. And you think I'm going to record those stories so I can pass those down to my kids and their kids. And you know what? We just don't get it done. And and I didn't get it done with uh, with, with either of those two. And it, it, it makes me sad. And then when I talked to you and you were telling me, hey, this is what I do. I thought this is just a brilliant idea. You're doing it for the people who don't get it done, which is. 99.9% of us, we, we, we don't get it done. We don't save it. And you become like an archive and a, a, a point where all these stories exist long beyond the people and the businesses who actually made the stories. And I think that's a beautiful thing. Well, and how we've kind of made it a little high tech is we end up building a page for the family. And even if somebody's gone, just like the answers, you know, you can interview the entire family about all their memories of seniors that are alive and honoring people that have passed. You can get the collective knowledge from each person's perspective, as well as doing somebody's life stories or, you know, a business history so they can share it with, you know, the people that come in their spot or, or digitally. But it, it was really a big aha moment when COVID hit <clears throat> and, you know, kind of started and really getting going in 19. And then all of a sudden you couldn't be with anybody face to face. and start doing a lot over the phone of the collective uh, memories of the family members to leave access to grandma or give her access anytime she wants so she can listen or watch each person's perspective while you know she's isolated on her couch in the retirement community or wherever sure. so that was a lot bigger of an aha and it's it's good to get their stories for later but it's better for them to enjoy the impact they've made on people's lives now and that's no the thing I've really learned from this process and looking forward to continuing this down in Nashville, expanding into Bloomington and other areas. But uh, Rick, I really appreciate your time. Is there anything else you'd like to say before we close this one out? No, I just that I think you're doing a great service. I, I think this is a, a lot of fun. And I, I think that people are going to open up to you. You're easy to talk to and uh, they're going to learn things after uh, a conversation that they've seen with you that they may not even know if they actually know that person and get to talk to them every day, you know? Well, I really appreciate that. And part of the goal is to find some people down there that would also like to be story guides and help save the stories of the land. So you might know some people or as we go down this road, you know, it'd be great to get referred to some people that like to be involved. 
We can certainly do that. Absolutely. Good luck and uh, love that you're doing this. Thank you for uh, talking to me. I appreciate it. It's been a lot of fun. Well, Rick, I really appreciate it too. And you've had one heck of a career and, uh, you know, teaching the people about the everyday, what's going on in the community, but also putting your own spice and personality into it. And that's what really motivates people. So I thank you for your service. I, I'm lucky to be here. Thank you, sir. You got it. All right, we'll just stand the line. I'm going to close this one out. <laughs>